Welcome to the Square Room Podcast. I just, I didn't know you started. Yeah, I started. Well, obviously I know now. Um, what, how you doing, buddy? How's uh, life? What's crack a uh, How's the, the world? You didn't want to introduce us or we're just, we're just jumping into it yep. today? Yep. Okay. I think people know who we are by now. No. Uh, I'm uh, Billy Bob Jackson and this All is right. my co-host, uh, 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 Bill, how you doing? Don't touch me. <laughs> Ew. Um, no, uh, my name is Jonah Wilson. This is my co-host, Eugene. We are The Square Room. And I actually wanted to ask you. Huh. Okay, so this uh, last week, Friday the 13th, mm-hmm. it was not only Friday the 13th, There was it was a full moon. It was a harvest moon. Are you farting? <laughs> oh, you're gross. Stop. If it stinks in here, you're going to hear. You're trapped. Oh, God. Um, yeah, so Friday the 13th, harvest moon, full moon. Mm. And there was also like thunder and lightning. It was like a like a, a storm. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it was like overall a bad omen. I was fine. Were you? Yeah, man. That was good. I like the thunderstorms. I think we spoke that day and like, you know, like I was just having like a not great day. Mm-hmm. I had a not great week. It was just like a stressful week. Like mm. not that anything particularly bad happened. It's just like, you know, <laughs> one of those weeks. <laughs> I also haven't seen you in a while. Uh, I miss you. Don't touch me. I miss don't you. Don't touch me. You already told me you. this enough. <laughs> wow okay you see this everyone listening this is why i'm not nice to eugene this is why i can't be like affectionate i am anytime i say something nice to you you get like awkward or like weird or you insult me okay eugene look at me look at open your eyes look at me my eyes are open (laughs) you're very handsome today i like your i like your outfit eugene thank you you look very good thanks look i took it thank you it's fine. What's this you. weird like a hand on the hip but it's not on your hip? Like you're you're just awkward. Like you You're can't, awkward. You know what would be nice if you gave me a compliment back. But you shouldn't give a compliment if you're expecting one back. You should give a compliment because you want to give one. I didn't say I was expecting one. I said it's nice. Like that's what people do. It when someone like says just, hello, you say hello back. No. When someone says how are you and you just say fine, it's kinda like, oh shit, you don't give a fuck about how I'm doing? No. No, most because of the time. you ask, expect saying that because you're expecting something back. No, first of all, when people say "how are you," like those like greetings are just like they're just formalities. Like yeah, ma- yeah, most of the time, back. if if you came up to me like we just kind of like cordially know each other mm-hmm. and or sorry, casually know each other, and you were like, "Oh, how are you doing?" and I'm like, "You know what? Not that good." Okay, okay, what happened? Right, but most people when they say, "Oh, like how are you?" they're not looking for that. It's like, oh, you know, didn't like, they say it? I know, but uh, Eugene. No, you're looking for a spe- you're just saying I'm looking for a specific answer. Don't ask someone how they are if you don't really want to know how they are. You're just looking for them to say good. Good, fine, or like or even if, they're if not it's fine. even if it's like, oh, you know, it's been a long day, but that's life. Like just like a little like So you don't really want to know something. how they're feeling. No, listen, I personally don't have any problem with it, but it's like if I'm talking to you in passing they don't ask how they are. Just say hello. Like, for instance, I go to the bank. I go yeah. to the bank teller. Oh, hello. Oh, hi. How are you? Oh, great. Thank you. It's been a long day. Oh, yeah. The lines are long. Oh, sorry for the wait. No, it's no problem. How can I help you? What can I do for you today? Just don't ask how they are if you don't really want to know how they are. Just say hello. Here's the thing. It's not like I care in the sense because I don't know this person, but mm. I don't mind knowing. Like, I would hope that you are you having a good day. You don't want to truly day. know. You just want to know the answer that they give you. It's, I guess it's like kind of superficial, I it guess. It is, yes. But it's like, stupid. No, but it's like a genuine thing. I don't know. Not really, because if you're asking how they are, you want to know how they are. If they tell you truly how they are, you're like, oh, I didn't really want to know this, so why'd you ask how I was? Well, it's, it's different because, like, asking you or, like, a close friend or someone yeah, you how care. they are. It's, but when you ask def- a random person, you don't care. It's different than me asking, like, someone who works in retail. Because you don't really care. Yeah. You just feel like you have to say that. When you don't, just say hello. <laughs> I also think simple. how are you is very different than, like, how's it going? I feel like how's it going is a little more casual because how are you is like uh, that can go deep. They both mean the same thing. No. How's it going? Eh, not that great. How are you doing? Eh, not that great. How's it going could be like, how's your day going? But how are you is like, how are you in life? Like, are you in a good place? No, or it could be how is your day going? No, it could be. I'm just saying like, 
it can be interpreted differently. You know, you they know can what I'm be, saying. But in general, You're just being difficult. No, I'm just being, they mean the same thing at the end of the day. They could. It comes down to interpretation. At exactly. The end of the day. That's what I said. They could mean the same and thing, but it, it can be interpreted can, differently. Yeah, but I'm just saying they're the same thing at the end of the day. Oh my God. It is the same thing. I just was just trying to see how your Friday the 13th was going. I genuinely fine. want to know. How was your I don't know, man. Friday the 13th? I don't know if you really want to know because it seems like you don't. It seems like you just want a general answer. Fuck That's off. what you've been telling me this whole time. No, I said with people like you who I'm close to, then yes, I do want to know. So that's what know. I'm saying. With random people you don't know, don't bother asking how they are because you clearly don't care. But no, well, no, care, no, no. I'm not going to allow you to say that. Okay, what not I said, care, but What no. I said was it's, it's more of a superficial thing because I don't know you. It's not like I'm like, how are you? Because like, oh, I, I know you have a tough job and like, how is it going? Like, I don't know anything about you to, to care in that way. But the type of person I am is like, why shouldn't you have a good day? Especially if you're like nice to me, if we're, we're exchanging formalities. Like, I would love to know, and I, I hope you have a good day. How are you? Have a nice day. Like, I mean that. I'm not going to say it if I don't mean it. But what does that have to do with asking how they are? Because I don't, like, the level of answer that I'm looking for is definitely a lot more superficial because I don't know the person. So that's what I'm saying. Just don't say, ask how they are. Just be like, hello, how are you doing? Or whatever. I don't know. You don't need to ask how they are. Let's be like, what's up? I'm not saying I hello. ask how they are all the time, but like, Howdy. sometimes you care. Sometimes it's nice to care. You yeah. know how that can like affect someone's day. Just have so, having someone be like, "How are you?" Even if they're not looking for your whole life story, it's just like that can really make a difference. And like that's how I feel. I'm like, I'm gonna be nice. I'm not saying it because that's what I feel like should be said. But what I'm saying is that the level of answer with with someone that I see like a McDonald's drive through versus you. Obviously, with you, when I say "How are you?", it's gonna be a little deeper. Actually, you know what? I might even just be like, "Oh, it's been a long time. Hey, how how you doing?" Like, you know, when you haven't seen a friend in a long time, maybe you're not even looking for a deep answer. But of course, you still care how they're doing. Doesn't mean you don't care. Shut up and stop leaning. You're going to tell me just don't ask whatever. Okay, mm-hmm. but you said your Friday 13th was like nothing. It was whatever. It was nothing Friday. Nothing bad happened? No. Oh. I just manifest good energy, bro. <laughs> I mean, you manifest some sort of energy. No, nah, nothing. Ew, what happened, was that man? weird it was a snort. snort inhale? It was, a snort. it was right in the mic. It so? felt like it was like gurgling in my ears. Stop it. That's what? nasty. How? Nobody wants to hear that. It sounds like a cat. It's disgusting. Cats don't sound like that. Eugene. Sounds like a pug. People like pugs. Pugs like who? Bulldogs. Dogs are dying as they live. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why I would never get one because I feel bad for them. They don't want you anyways. They, they want, want a loving owner. Yeah, they want an owner that doesn't care that they're dying slowly. Listen, I have. we have to mention it. What? Bianca Andrescu. Who the hell is that? You don't know who that is? I don't know any Biancas. I'm in Canada. She's a Canadian. She's from Mississauga. Oh, that chick. The 19-year-old who won the U.S. Open. That's she beat that, Serena. I don't care that much about tennis. You don't care that much about basketball either, but we talked about... Yeah, but Raptors is bigger than Bianca. Why? She's one person and she won it all and she's only 19. Yeah, but everyone's been like, waiting for, for the Raptors. I think her parade is actually today. It's a little uh, overcast. I think it was raining earlier. Yeah, but everyone's right? been waiting for the Raptors for like 20 years. I'm, I'm, I'm I don't understand. I don't know about Bianca. I don't care about tennis. I'm saying we got to mention it. I feel like there, there's some sort of like pride when like, you know, your people, like your country. You don't you don't feel like proud of, of your country. Is she, would she be considered? She's not a millennial. No, she's uh, Gen, Gen Z? X or Gen Z, whatever the fuck. No, X, Y, Z, Elemental P, yeah. Gen X is closer to your, uh, our age group. That's yeah, I love how you say your age group as if like I'm fucking baby boomer, you asshole. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. Like, <laughs> your knees, it seems like you might be. Okay, I'm not, I'm not about to allow you to come for my knees on the podcast, <laughs> okay? Listen, yes, my oh, knees. I got up my nose. Good, you asshole. <laughs> He's drinking tea and he tried to laugh at me and it went up his nose. Good. It's because my knees crack. Guess what? My crack. elbows crack too and my back. About cracking. I think crack more like cracking. They fucking, fucking, fucking. Just Sounds like gunshots going off every yeah, time I get up. Like, like <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, reload. It's not reload every time BT dubs. But, BT dubs? But whatever. It's by the way. Um, did you hear about Kawhi Leonard's um, sister? I, I don't get I The stories like that are annoying. Because what does that have to do with Kawhi? I agree. I'm like, I get that's his sister. But like everyone's like looking at him like, um, oh. Why did your sister kill people? Because she looks ugly. Apparently she like murdered someone at a casino. And like, 
his name is all over the yeah the it's the same article. thing with that um flippity flip gymnastic gymnastics uh, chick in america her brother killed a person so everyone's like whatever and it's saying i don't know you know the black the little black girl who Mm-mm. flips all over the place the Mm-mm. probably like the best gymnast in the world right now whatever her brother killed the same thing like her brother killed a guy and it was like hey, santra whatever brother killed a man huh? yeah i don't think that's fair but that's the price of celebrity i know and i understand because like we know but that's the thing like they're saying that we, this we, hmm? we know a celebrity we as in like people oh like not you and i specifically oh. just I'm like who would we know no like we know who this woman is because of her association to Kawhi. Mm. like um i know a lot of people were saying that like this article or this story would never be like national news yeah, international it, it news for, uh, quack, quack. right for quick quick but the quick, the quick. Yeah, I don't think it's the quick, it's quick. he doesn't seem like a nickname kind of guy. He doesn't seem like a just a guy in general. He doesn't seem like he a just guy. Seems like a fucking floating entity that shoots a ball, doesn't talk. A floating have, entity. Have any emotion on his face, just a thing. Well, sticking with pop culture, I wanted to know what you think about the whole like Nicki Minaj retiring thing. I don't care. You don't care. I don't give a fuck about Nicki Minaj. You don't like her music? Not really. <laughs> That's her fucking music. No, it's not. Yeah, from like I'd say like eighty percent of it. Her is. her older shit when she did all those like different voices. <laughs> okay, hey, oh, Nicki Minaj. Now I like the rock. Your levels are <laughs> peaking. <laughs> You're so loud. Yeah, I like Nicki Minaj. I'm just trying to do be her, man. Oh just my a God. loud Nicki Minaj. I, I can't. I'm retarded. Sorry, guys. Um, oh I, I'm not allowed God, to say that. Who cares, man? Dave Chappelle's special came out and he. Well, shit. I wanted to ask you what your thoughts on that were. That's, you made me watch it. Oh, and Andrew saw Andrew um, Shkreli, Shkreli, I don't know, the brilliant 80s guy. Mm-hmm. You, you remember how he was talking about he had his release special on the same day? Uh, it's sure. better. You saw it? It's better. It's short. Bill Burr's special is out. Did you Bill, see that? I watched half of it. You watched it without me? Yeah. What? Uh, I didn't finish it. Eugene, you're so mean. The challenge, new episodes of the challenge come on, and that was my show that I watched without you, and I wait for you now because you like it. You know, you told me about Bill Burr's special, and I told you that we'd watch it together. We did. Yeah, you told me about it weeks ago before I it came out. I, I just told you I can't. I didn't remember that part. Yeah, I was like, oh, are we gonna I watch just, together? And you're like, yeah, did I? yes. I forgot. Yeah, because you don't give a fuck about it. me. I Shut up! It. I don't want to rewatch it with you. Don't ow! That was. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit me in my collarbone. Ow! That was my collarbone, you stupid. (laughs) Stop hitting me! Are you guys hearing that? Stop! You're hitting me in my fucking collarbone. You did it twice and I feel it. It hurts. The bone hurts. Get away. Stop! Um, It's abuse. No, Andrews is better. I found it more funnier than uh it's, more funnier. Look I, at that grammar. I liked I liked it a lot. Mm. But his was like he did he just did crowd work. So he's just pretty much making from the crowd. Like the, the whole thing? Yeah. I loved it. It was so good. Ah, it's shorter. I remember he was saying how like hours he thinks hours are stupid because like no one has the time to really pay attention to sit there for an hour. Like he can't have a planet. And his he only does thirty minutes because he think that he thinks you have more of an attention span to that than an hour. And I do agree with him because I had a because with Bill Burr I didn't finish it because I was like oh this is an hour. With his I just like it flew by. That's like the Joe Coy one that I tried to make you watch his new one. Yeah, so I think I think hours are too long. I like it. when it's good an hour is great. When it's just meh an hour is just like okay. Yeah. That's I, I think half an hour is better. I think he's right about that. Mm, I don't know. I think what he's doing it's in general, Andrew. Zone. I think he's just what he's doing is smart but you also have to think about it right when you pay money to go see like a a a comedian like you don't want to sit there for 30 minutes because unless there's multiple performers because maybe people sit there for hours all the time guys do their hours on just regular like stand-up they'll do their hours like in front of people before they record it they'll practice their hours for months i know oh i'm talking about like like when Kevin Hart tours and you pay all that money to see him, you don't want to see him for 30 minutes. They probably will even pay him for 30 minutes. I'm just saying minutes. you want to get your money's worth. So the longer, the better in that sense. I wouldn't agree with that. I would say the better the quality of the jokes, the, be- the better. I'm just talking about how people see it. They're like, why am I going to pay hundred odd dollars? Well, I don't think you should be paying a hundred odd dollars in general. I think that's just ridiculous. I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know. I agree a lot with what Anne tries to say. I'm not about. saying nothing. Anything's wrong with the 30 minute I think like, show. I think like $200 for a fucking ticket. 
It's like, I like you, but I don't like you that much. Mm-hmm. I, there's no comedian I'd pay that much money to see. I've never paid 200 I've paid... I mean, I've seen How Kevin Hart Kevin three Hart? times. How much was that? Mm, I can't remember because it's it was... definitely in 100 It was over... Oh, yeah. I would say if I had to... It's more than a date. Huh? It's more than a date. It's the ticket was about like one forty to one seventy, like yeah. in that. I can't remember exactly. I mean, like, I, there's no one I like that much. Maybe like, I think the only person I'd be willing to pay that is maybe like Dave, because I know that'd be like that'd be rare. Chappelle. Yeah. You can call him Dave, like y'all are friends. Yeah, we are friends. He was over last week. <sighs> you fucking wish. What if he know. actually was? What if me and Dave... If you and Dave, Dave Chappelle, Chappelle... First of all, I'd be like, we're, this is a big-ass generational gap. Like, why does he know you? You're a child in comparison to him. I, I would just be curious about that. Like, at what age did you meet this grown Don't man it, that you've been hanging out Don't with at your it, home? Don't worry about Me Too action going on, so don't worry about it. You're going to Me Too J- Dave Chappelle? You're going to Me Too <laughs> Dave Chappelle? Is this what you're saying? No. Dave, you hear it? Get your legal he team. Hear it. Um, if I take this clip, post it on Instagram, and tag he Dave have, Chappelle. He doesn't have any social media. Oh, shit. Never mind. He yeah, doesn't? No, he's a free man. Uh, he's truly a free man. I mean, there's he's not a free man. I would say he's a free he man. lives in the public eye. He's not a free man. He lives in Ohio, in the middle of nowhere. He's in the public eye. He goes somewhere, people know who he is. Yeah, I'd say he's still free, free. He lives in Ohio full time? Yeah. Lives in Ohio. Why are you mumbling when we're on a podcast? I don't understand why you do that. You have so many like little like things that like annoy me. Oh my gosh, this is uh, just shit on Eugene Day. No, Jesus it's not. Christ. But like Jesus. No, because like you mumble in real life. Okay. Which is one thing, but like you, like we're on we're like, yes. legit you have a microphone in front of your mouth and instead you choose to sit back and just kinda mumble and be like, yeah. So it's just like what's the point? Sorry, I told you I've had a rough week. Mm. I can tell. Ah. Listen. Oh, is my tea done? I feel like I need a... Oh, it's done. Oh. You want to give me more tea? No. Why? Because we're recording. So we've been pausing No, tea. we're not leaving you by yourself to talk. I said pause it. No, then we'll forget where I stopped. You you weren't saying anything. Well, no. You yes, yeah, stupid. You, you drink too fast. To savor it. Well, it was a little cold, that's why I drank it faster. Mm-hmm. Well. <sighs> so, there's something that I've been thinking about. Oh, no. No, no, no. Nothing like crazy. But I don't know. I've been thinking about this and I want to know your opinion. Um, okay, so recently I finished watching Euphoria, that new HBO show I starring Zendaya. Hmm? I wanted to watch that show. Yeah, no, it's it's a good show. Um, also, Thirteen Reasons Why. Isn't that like that suicide show? Um, I I guess so. Yeah, you can call it mm. that. Um, and you know, I'm thinking about like other shows that I watch. <laughs> um, you know, I, I I watch Riverdale. I watch um, or I watch the. Actually, there's there's a new reboot, Pretty Little Liars, and now there's Pretty Little Liars of Perfectionists, where like um, Allison is like a. a TA at like a college and like the same type of shit is happening but it's like a different person obviously um but I'm thinking about these shows right the thing that all these shows have in common is that these are all high school kids Mm. like Pretty Little Liars I mean with I'm talking about the original Pretty Little Liars not the new one Uh. they're in high school Riverdale they're in high school Euphoria High School and 13 Reasons Why and like 13 Reasons Why started off um what i would consider semi-realistic but like this last season and this is not giving anything away this is not a spoiler because the the trailer um no i don't i don't like that because the the season just came out last month so it's just kind of like netflix people binge shit in a day i know but some people i mean i haven't seen um seasons two and three of uh what's it called stranger things and that's because i haven't gotten around to it so i don't want spoilers for that but anyways, what I'm saying is not a spoiler for anyone listening. Spoiler. I just feel like this last season, they are, these are high school kids again, and they are looking for a murderer. They are trying to figure out a murder. It's like, it's so unrealistic. That the kids are looking for a murder? Yeah, because that's not what okay. high school kids are about. Well, like, maybe they're different. 
like it's a TV show, and and that's the thing. No, so Riverdale started off. It started off with a murder because this is not like the 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 Archie comics. Like it's a darker version. But as the seasons have gone on, there have been <gasps> gangs. But like when I say gangs, I mean like Grips. dungeons and gargoyles type of like people wearing masks. Well, they call it griffins and, and gargoyles or whatever. Crips, blood. But they they're wearing masks. Like they're kill. Like these are children. They they have um juvie like detention center like fight fight clubs that like sounds pretty cool man well against their will yeah sounds pretty fucking cool it's called a fraternity oh my god um you know there's there's murderers um there are yeah there's murderers there's gangs there's like this Gang, weird yeah. there, there's like a whole um like a nunnery like these nuns run this like facility that like they're corrupt they they do some sort of murderers and shit there nuns that are corrupt there, there's what? a there's a cult oh that has infiltrated the town and the high school there is a high school student that's actually like fucking 20 something 30 years old pretending to be a high school student it, there's just so what the much fuck is this show there's just that's what i'm saying these shows have like pretty little liars it was about four girls or was it five I don't remember. That was years ago. Hannah, Aria, Spencer, Spencer. Emily. Yeah, five five Emily. girls. There were five girls. One went missing. They thought she was dead. She was really on the run. Okay, fine. You know, that's a little edgy, but it's just like the near death experiences. This person is stalking them, following them, blackmailing them, threatening to kill them, trying to kill them. And they're like, we can't go to the police. We need to stop. Like, you are like, what, 16 years old? It's just so unrealistic. Yeah, because it's a fucking TV show. It's not supposed to be realistic. It's supposed to be fun. That's true. So you can take the element of like, okay, this isn't, um, you know, real life. But like when they throw so, like when I was listing off all the crazy shit that happens in River, that's not even all of it. I am. Oh God. It's just like they they take the the edginess and they throwing everything at you at once. Well, look. And then and then they have the typical works. like relationship triangles and like all that stuff. Yeah, that's high school. There's like Euphoria triangles. is a great show. I really like it. But when you think about it, it's like there's a lot going on. There's drug addiction. Um, there <laughs> is a, a a teen going through like you know a transgender teen going through like her life. Um, there is a boy struggling with being gay and like his father being Sounds gay. Sounds like today. And, and the transgender student was sleeping with the the low key gay guy's father, and then he blackmailed her and blackmailed her with child porn. And um, you know, there's another character with a drug addiction, one that sell drugs. Like there's a drug bust. The drug lord came and like forced her to do fentanyl. It's it's just like there's just a lot. It's just a lot. Okay. <laughs> and there's a lot of sex. Yeah. Sounds... More sex than really happens in high school. You don't know that. I do know that. How do you know that? Because I was in high school yeah, but once. You went to like a high school. You don't know what? You you legit know absolutely nothing about my high school know, except man. for possibly the name. People How can you say that? My school. No, I'm not saying that they Nudie weren't. pics were going around in my school. There were like pictures and videos of people going around. Yeah, I had pictures, not videos. Of like other students? Yes. That's horrible. I saw it too. I think there was one video that yeah, I that can remember shocking. of a guy like I think they were like he it was like a doggy style thing and like he showed the video. Actually, he it was actually not nice at all because he went around talking about the fact that um he they had anal and and every time he pulled out he said he could smell shit. Don't laugh, <laughs> cute. No, but like imagine being in high school and having that. Uh, it again. He didn't say douche, man. Yeah, but it's Clean a your asshole, it's lady. It's a high school girl, not it's thinking. Catholic. Let me keep my purity. No, I don't think she was. I think they were just trying anal. Mm, yeah, you don't just try anal. And they weren't dating or anything, but they were like they're fucking. Okay, yeah, basically doing that booty action, okay. getting some chocolate on that dick. Well, he didn't say anything about like any like streak marks or anything, but he said it, well, he caught a whiff he like must have every gotten, time. Like he definitely in the got wind. he got shit on his dick. Yeah, probably. He's like, yeah, give me more of that chocolate. Oh, I don't know. Like, it's weird because I do like these shows. Like, they they're interesting. So what's your problem with the shows? My problem is like, okay, so I was hearing how Lizzie McGuire is being rebooted. I don't know if you heard that. No, I. <laughs> no. Okay. 
Either way, I used to love that show and like looking at like it's gonna take some time if you believe it's the wrong show. <laughs> That's Drake and Josh. Is it if you back. believe? Yeah, I know. All right. The we got a picture perfect Don't touch me. plan. The Don't we touch got me. Pulled. I have a girlfriend. Don't we touch do me. The best we can. Cause sometimes we. You're still singing. It. Oh Jesus. Cause sometimes okay, we, we break get the it. point. We move one step closer each and every day. And we'll figure it out on the way. <laughs> and then all the balls come in and they just... You know. Yes, representation of her life. What? I don't know. Do not talk poorly about Hillary Duff. How no. dare you? What? Hillary is a queen. Queen of skin caught sucking dick. She is... <laughs> She has a man no. and two beautiful children. Leave her alone. Anyways, my point is, look at that show, right? There's still, like, crazy antics and, like, what's Lizzie and the gang gang up to this time? Or, like, even, like, That's So Raven, like, those shows, you know? Her new show is trash. Whose new show? Raven. Well, it's a reboot it's for yeah, kids. Yeah, shit. Okay, anyways. My, my point is, as ridiculous as some of the situations that Raven or, or Lizzie or any of those, like, old shows got into... Like it's still more real. It's just like so. Raven's crazy. realistic. Or I just love the future, guys. <laughs> yes, I think it's more realistic than a situation like Riverdale. I do. The only difference is like something like Stranger Things. Like Dude, that is like crazy and it's like it's unbelievable. Real. But it's like that's like sci-fi, so it's meant to be. Or like Vampire Diaries. Like there's no werewolves and witches and vampires walking around. That so I you know just of. want more realistic TV shows? Is I, that what you're asking for? Yeah, I feel like that's there's boring. nothing. But that's the mentality that, like, I feel like that sets people up. Like, imagine watching Euphoria and then being, like, you know, in, like, eighth grade and being like, wow, this is what high school is going to be like? Yeah, that's why it's not made for Drugs those kids. and alcohol. That's why and the shows aren't made for kids that old. And fucking. Yeah, it's not made for those kids. It's made for our age. Okay. You're telling me you did not watch anything? Yeah, I watched the Boondocks. That that's why I say the N-word to? all the time. But I'm also no right from wrong with no reality is. Like, for me, one of the most real, unrealistic things that I could have thought about, and I guess it is a thing. I actually don't know if it's a thing. Remember Breaker High? Nope. Na, 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 hey, hey. No. no. Um, okay, well, oh, it's kind of like the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. No, Sweet Life on deck. It's, it was like that. Like, they had a high school, but they were on a boat. And I, for me, I was like, this show is so cool. But like, that would never happen. Now we got children, like, infiltrating the police and chasing down bad guys and being caught and being held this hostage a in a fucking show. underground it's bunker. And, 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 like, your girlfriend's father's trying to kill you, so you got to kill her first. You got to so kill him first. that's exciting and cool. It's a TV show. No. You just we, want real life bullshit? I need I some, don't watch TV for real. No. Even I though the TV is not real. Here's the thing. I like the fucking show. I do. So what are you getting at? <laughs> I think that there needs to be something for people to consume that is still interesting, but a little more realistic. Like yeah, they boring. they have they have all of these. Pick one. Pick a struggle. Jesus is it is it a? Are we trying to catch a murderer? Are we fucking in a fight club? Jesus are Christ. are we like? Is it a war? Is it a love story? Like pick a struggle. Jesus Christ! They, don't watch TV anymore. If this concerns you this they much. are throwing everything in and it's just kind of like you're just watching too many shows let me just focus on one i'm okay everything i just listed was all in riverdale oh I don't that's know, what i'm man. saying like i am picking a show i'm let's talk about riverdale yeah, then. Sounds, that's cool sounds like a lot going I, on. I enjoy the show i enjoy the actors yeah, I know, but man. i'm just saying i think like there it. needs to be something that tones it down a little bit but still keeps my interest like i loved fucking gossip girl and that was high school students in Manhattan and they were like living on and like there were obviously situations that were a little crazy but it's like they they kept a theme like Riverdale now I think it's like season like three four whatever it has evolved into something completely different from season one yeah but Archie's mysteries books were always weird and like whatnot like that well, this the whole thing is like supposed to be like a darker. Yeah, turn. so it's like that times two. I I like the dark. I'm fine with that. I'm confused because I, I I like you you're, you're okay. going back and forth. What do you no? I feel like I've maintained the fact that I like these shows. I'm not you just shit don't want talking so the much shows. Shit going on. But I think it is too much when you're throwing anything that is outlandish and outrageous. So We're talking. They're throwing a show. fucking cult in this show. Cults are cool. Yeah. Drink the fucking Kool-Aid, Hugh. I'm not stupid. I'm not <laughs> Diana. 
What? That's where it happened in Guyana. Oh, I thought you said Diana, like Princess Diana. I was like, are you kidding me? No, I didn't hear you properly. My my apologies. Surprise. <laughs> so <laughs> Don't come from my so what I got from this is that you just want a slower show. No, because it doesn't have to be slow. Like like the other shows you that I listed. You want shit happening. I think that you can have things that are interesting, things that are even a little Slash unrealistic. Un- I just, but I listed so many that I watched that I feel like are Slash all kind of like that. Eugene, shut up for a second. What I'm trying to say, <laughs> you're so annoying. What I'm trying to say is that sometimes you can have a great show and you can throw too much in. Like for me, with Pretty Little Liars, that's why I, I did watch it all. But towards the end, it was like, oh, new episode, huh, I'll get around to it. Like, I was way behind because it was just like, there. it was just too much. It's like they're, they're drag shit on. They're dragging it out. They're throwing these crazy. It's just like you start to lose interest when they're throwing all these crazy things in. It's just like, where's the storyline? Like, we're losing the main storyline. You yeah, should have a storyline. Like no one cares about the story. They just care about the ad libs. I guess. I mean, listen, like, I'm like maybe like two or three seasons behind in The Walking Dead. But no one gives a fuck about The Walking Dead. The, Walking Dead the way I am, though, stupid. like, I feel like when I commit to a show, like, I, I commit. So, like, I do plan on watching it. Why? But, like, the season after Glenn died, I was yeah, kind of like... interesting I, I watched that season, and then I was just kind of like, eh, I'll get around to it. And <laughs> then don't. now I'm two seasons behind, and I think it's starting up again. This yeah, it's, three seasons. it's shit. I don't know. Well, you it's get what stupid. I'm saying? Yeah. But you're not up to date either. I don't oh, yeah, know. Yeah, I don't care. I don't know if anything great happens. And I mean, then too, it's slow moving zombies. How the fuck do you get yourself that fucked up by slow moving zombies? Because there's power in numbers. Yeah, just run away. But run where? Just dig a hole. If everywhere is overrun, yeah, just dig a hole. You can't live like that. Just, no, dig a hole for them to fall into. Set a fire. Bam, bamboozle. You're done. Right, but then like you're attracting more, and then when they burn, and remember, like in the post-apocalyptic world, like you don't have all the resources that I you feel have. like with slow moving zombies like that, it wouldn't get that bad. You don't think so? You no. think they'd be able to be contained before it yeah. reached that point? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But again, that's a show. Like, so maybe that's a little unrealistic. If but they're it's like still... twenty eight day later zombies, they're like Where they're fucking, fucking like, running and jumping and fucking like, parkouring at you. Ah! That would fuck Yo. us up. But the slow ones, no. Like, what's that video game, um, Left 4 Dead, where the fucking zombies are running at you? Yeah, that, that would be... Fucking parkouring off the yeah, building that, and that shit? Yeah, that would be like, that's, screwed. That's Like, terrifying. World War Z, that kind of shit, that's, yeah. that's when we would be fucked. But, like, slow ones, like, no. I don't know. What do you it's like watching missile. as of recently? Uh, Anime? Yeah. See, like, when it when it's, a like, a animated, like, a cartoon oh, or whatever? Man. Black men love anime. Sure. Okay. Like, the way I see it is I feel like anything goes because it's an animated series. Like, we're not having real people fucking evolve into fucking shimigamis and, like, all this fucking weird shit, you know? shimigami? It's that thing from Death Note that, like, <laughs> like comes to him when, like, he has the book and whatever. I still haven't read, I've not read that. I've watched that. Yeah. Ah! Yeah, man. Just fucking animes. Just Demon Slayer. That's and that's all you it. really watch? Yeah, man. You watch the challenge now. That too. Because of like, me. It's too many fucking shows out, man. I can't keep up. Yeah, but there's, the there's, shit. you have to remember, like, there's something different for everyone. Yeah. I feel like you'd also like 90 Day Fiance, just because when I show you, like, when we watch clips, Yeah, I think it's so fucking ridiculous, and I think these people are all stupid. It it's is. It's more me just making fun of you. I'm like, you guys are fucking retarded. There was one, but they, they have- Let me move to India. That one? Oh, that's the other way. So they, they have 90 Day Fiancé where, like, people come to America, but then now they have 90 Day Fiancé the other way where it's, like, the people go to them. I think it's them. called just desperate, No, but people. that's the thing. So when I was like, oh, they have the other way, I'm like, okay. So, like, the whole thing is that, like, when people come here on a green card, like, for a fiancé visa, you think that a lot of the time they're using them for money or for a green card or whatever. But it's like, okay, but if I'm going to your country, then you must really love me because, like, you're not, like, I don't have much money. I'm leaving everything behind. I'm coming here. Like, it must be for love. But that same one with the woman who went to India, you know the man was married? Oh, he was married? Yeah. Oh, man. He, like, revealed it in the last episode. He's like, yeah, I've been hiding something from Jenny. I'm married. I was like, bitch, what? Yeah, you really think you want some old, crusty, dusty pussy like that? But, like, Blows she has... Blows her in her face? She has... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> but that's the thing. She has no money. They were talking for seven years you before she moved there. It's exciting. But it's just kind of like, why? wrong thing. A little bit too old, in my opinion. She wasn't even cute. He's he's 60-something. Or she she's she's 60-something. He's, like, 30. Yeah, she's, like, an 80-year-old looking. She's, like, I know. 
No, she has a little bit of like she's the, that the turkey neck. The, yeah. She's got that gobble gobble. The the loose um, okay. neck. Okay. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know why he would go for that. Come on, man. But that's the thing. It's like, what what does he get from it? She has no money to give him. Yeah, He's not yeah. going to be able to get a green card from it because she's moving to India. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe just it like, doesn't make sense maybe to me. Maybe to fuck with her and just be like, That one, I honestly this, thought so. he, I I thought he was in it. And then I was like, bitch, you married? Like, come on. I don't know. Like. He's trying to get some draft. Does love, does love really exist? I don't know, man. Oh, God. Over it. You have been having a bad week. What? Oh, because I said, does love yeah, really exist? Fuck me, man. You're wearing all black. You're black. No, I'm wearing, I'm wearing oh, red. Oh, look, red. That's not a happy color. You're wearing red, too. You're wearing a red hat. What? We're matching. We're color blocking. Don't touch me. Really? So you, the guy who fucking punched me in my collarbone? I punch you. I didn't. Ah, don't do it That's again, please. Anytime you raise your hand up to me, I flinch. Oh, my God. Everyone listening, send help, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> SOS. I need help. I'm being abused. No. <laughs> Uh, this square room is a front. Is it? Yeah. I knew it. For your abuse. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. <laughs> so? <laughs> Did you watch Drake and Josh? Yeah, I liked it on my TV. <laughs> you need to stop picking up the mic. I like it. I don't. Did I ask you if you <laughs> <laughs> liked it? <laughs> I, I like it. Okay. <laughs> Wow, you're real articulate there. Yeah, I'm a real TikTok. You're a real something, all right. Oh, what is that? What's in it? What? Is that Kawhi Leonard? Is that, that was the thing. Had four babies? Ew! <laughs> She's 74 and had two kids? Stop looking at That's my gross. phone. Who okay. fucked that? Oh, my God. Because you know Asians, they shrink when they turn like 50. They're just like... Huge. They deflate, Listen, man. Listen, it says... it's. Uh, Did she die? She you. Must oh, my God. Like, eh! Nobody knows what you're talking. You need to say what you're talking about. There was a 74 year old Indian lady who had two kids, which is gross. She gave birth to twin girls. Yeah, shit. Um, yeah, she's 74. Her husband is 82. Oh. They had the babies naturally. They had no. They had no That's kids. That's so irresponsible. Then. Why? They wanted those kids. kids. They're gonna be dead by the time the kids are 10. That dad's got like a couple, like a good maybe five years left. No, they'll see the kids through their teens if no, they, if they, they live. No, they won't. 74, the 84, 94. It's just good 20 yeah, years. Yeah, so the kid's going to be taking care of the parents. The dad's going to be like, ah, help me, son. Ah, maybe they have like money ah, and they can afford like. I doubt it. People like that normally don't have money when they do stupid shit like it that. Was, it was C-section. No, of course, apparently they've been trying for years. Hold on. I yeah, have to sneeze. clearly for like 40 fucking years they've been trying. <laughs> I'm surprised the guy is Thank still you. Sorry, sperm that's alive. And I'm surprised she still has eggs. Well, men, right. men, their know, sperm is, is like good forever. Those kids might be fucking... And that's our... Cause you and just she, inc- she conceived and carried them naturally, which is crazy. Bro, that's super irresponsible. Yeah. Those they they were married for 57 years. No kids. And they tried for that fucking long. Yeah. Good for them for and they actually thought she was the oldest person to give birth, and she's not. I think she's like the second or third oldest. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah. irresponsible, bro. <laughs> you just increase the cat chance of those kids being just fucking fucked up in general, mentally, like all around. Because the older you have kids, the more likely they can be TikToked and whatnot. What's TikTok? What do you mean? So another word for retarded. Is it? Or did you just make that up? No, it's from your mom's house. Oh. Because they don't say retarded, they say you're TikToked, but now they start. Because I don't know, I feel like with the Bill Burr special. You can't take it from them. You gotta make up your own thing. Okay, they're fucking retarded then. <sighs> they're chaired. I, I don't fucking know. Oh my they're god. They're squared. <laughs> You're friggin' square. It's not funny. Sorry. That's why it's called this square room. You yeah, fuck. you're the one. You fuck. Because this room is full of squares. Yeah, you're one of them. Yeah, I said full of, aka the, the, more than one. Yeah, you square. Okay, takes one. I'm takes one to no one. No, you're fucking oblong. What the hell is that? Exactly. It's an oblong. <laughs> oh god. Um, okay, so I want to ask you about this because I feel like this is like up your up your fucking alley. Um, I believe. Okay, before I even tell you, I think this was in Alberta. No, Manitoba. So conser- yeah, conservative candidate. Mm. Um, he resigned mm. after his like old Facebook account was discovered. Mm. Um, it was from May twenty. Was it twenty eighteen or twenty sixteen? I don't know, but like not super long ago. But whatever. He posted a thing that said. I'm proud to be white. I bet no one passes this on because 
they are scared to be called a racist. But he got a lot of backlash, of so he decided to resign. Yeah, of course. Why would you say that? It's stupid. You think? It's a stupid thing to say. I don't think anything's wrong with saying that. Um, I, I know, but you have to be... You're stupid because you know what weight that holds to say something like I that. I guess, yeah. It's stupid That's to say in the sense say. of, like, you're, these days, you can't say that because people are going to see it as, like, whatever. But, like, what's really, wrong with being proud of who you are and what, like, yeah, your ethnicity? But, uh, no, no, you can no. be proud to be black, proud to be brown, proud to be mixed, proud yeah, to be Asian, yeah, yeah. proud to be white. Like, not, he didn't say, I'm proud to be white because he fuck all been, those, he like... He should have been, I'm proud to be Polish or German or whatever. That'd be bad. Maybe. But it's smarter. I mean, just the fact that he no one, also said, I bet no one passes this on because really they're scared good. to be called a racist. Every time someone says, I'm proud to be white, nothing's good to come out. Nothing yeah. good comes after. So he's just a dumbass for saying that and posting on Facebook, which is an old person move. <laughs> That's the thing, though. But that statement alone, I don't think anything is wrong with I'm that. If it, if it was followed by, ah. because I don't want to be like oh. one of these minorities or because being white is better. He didn't ah. say it's better. He didn't say anything. He just said he's proud yeah, to be white. Yeah, but mm, come on. Throughout history, nothing's ever good. Come, no, I get it. I get it. But like, that. because people are sensitive to, to those type of words. But when you really break down what he's saying, he didn't say anything wrong. No. Because if I posted somewhere, I'm like, I'm proud to be black. But yes, yeah, sister. Right. Be like, black girl magic. Yes, bitch. Yes, you better. Black girl magic. You better show them. Show them how black. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm. it's, but like, I'm not saying I'm proud to be black because fuck everyone else. It's like, no, I'm just proud to be who I am. So nothing's I'm proud really wrong. to be a Negro. Nothing's wrong with the statement itself. I like watermelons. But do you think, like, he, like, the resigning was. Yeah, that's too. Because he's a you dumbass. Think I, I, yeah, he probably wouldn't have been elected. No, you're stupid. Should have just put, I'm proud to be Polish, Irish, German, one of those white things. I love how that's what you go to. Well, that's the biggest population of, that we have in Canada, especially in those areas. Is it's German and Polish. In Manitoba? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Interesting, interesting. Mm. But maybe he's like multi generational Canadian, so he doesn't really know. Hey, he's a stupid. He's a stupid. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, he, like, maybe he doesn't identify with being like German, Polish, or whatever. He's he like, said, I'm proud Canadian. to be Canadian then. I mean, yeah, he could have done that. Yeah, he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> I get, yeah, you're right. You're he's right. a fucking stupid. <laughs> well, I'm proud to be white. I'm gonna put on my face. And you're Manitoba. It's not really known for being the most. Well, if it was Saskatchewan, it'd be even worse because Saskatchewan is known. It's apparently known for being very bad. Towards oh, you the, know what? That's whoa, true because people. when I think about it, the um, like if an American person, even if they're like a Trump supporter, even they say, "I'm proud to be an American." They don't even really say unless you know what I mean. They're not like I'm proud to be a white American. They're just like we're an Americans and we have our right and da 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 da. No, and we don't that. like the immigrants and like they do that type of thing. But they're not like we're proud to be white. Mm. They just say America. But that's what they're really saying, Joe. They're just using America because they support white America, what not thing? the colored America. I want that melting pot. Uh, you know what I mean? You know yeah. What I mean. Oh no. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like w- Americans are very um, patriotic <clears throat> and. That's an amazing thing, but I think that when it's like directed in the wrong direction, it can come off as like that's hateful. Everything. You know, I'm proud to be a Canadian because that's the thing. Like, no, but Price. Americans, Fuck. yeah, but like Canada versus America. No, no, Americans are way pussies. more vocal about yeah, their pussies, patriotism. Doesn't like you know, I'm proud to be Canadian. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, we're I'm, also kind of pussies. What do you mean? We're just pussies compared to Americans. I think. Um, I don't think so. I think just because you're the loudest person in the room doesn't make you. Nah. Right. Nah, I think we're bigger pussies, though. I think we're not as willing to defend our rights for certain things as much as the Americans. That's why I respect Americans more. They're more willing to defend their rights. They're going. They're willing to like die for it. We're not. You don't think so? No. No. At least, at least like the majority. No. I feel like more of the Northerners, the middle of nowhere people. Yeah. Like Oshawa. Yeah. I feel like they're more willing to defend their rights. Okay, that's Toronto. Not that's no. still Southern Ontario. Yeah, I know, but you know what I mean. Mm. more rural areas yes interesting i don't know i don't necessarily think i agree with that but i respect that no, statement I don't see and i see where it comes from, from. Like, yeah, no we need to embrace socialism i personally think that canada is one of if not the best country in the world i think so too i think we're one of the best but i think america's a mm. better i think america's a little bit better yeah mm. just think about america i like a lot more all of our like what it's more the the gun rights stuff I think that uh, just the right to you wish you yourself. had the right to bear arms oh, here. Of course I do. You know what I fucking wish? I wish we could. I for we everyone could, listening who's ourselves. not Canadian, we can't carry pepper spray here. It's illegal. No, you can't really defend yourself. If I if you, if I get punched in the face and I punch him in the face, 
is a tad bit harder. I can get sued for that. If you break into my house and I attack you, guess what? I can go, I'm going to go to jail for assaulting him. It's stupid. See, that one, I don't... Because we're stupid. Yeah. Like, we have the right to protect ourselves, but to only extent. within reasonable limits. So if someone breaks into your house to rob you, you but you kill them, then... No, I don't... You, well, I think... Yes, I Because think, that is... But they came to rob you. Like, if they nah, came to kill I think you, you... I think if you kill a person for breaking into your house, I think you should get punishment for that. You're... You, come on. But in the States, you're protecting yourself. No, I know that, but I still don't agree with it. I still think that if you kill a person, you should be charged for that. Because if someone's bringing you to your house, they're not... They, I guess to be honest, they're not there to kill you. They want your TV. You don't know that. Yeah, but nine times out of ten, they want your TV. No, are you crazy? No. I watch fucking Law and Order and Criminal Minds. Like, they're breaking in your house to fucking those, like, kill you. Are those, like, TV shows? But, no, a lot of them are based off of, especially, like... I would say majority of break-ins is I want your shit. Not I'm coming in. Those are people you. who case the joint and make sure that you are not home at the time. Yeah. If someone knows that you're home and they're breaking in, they're coming for you. Or they might just be shitty planned. Or they might be willing to take a risk. I find a lot well, of times someone's bringing the house. Risk it, you get shot. Yeah, I still don't think you deserve to die for bringing someone's house. You just gotta take that risk. You know what? I'm not ever gonna say that anyone deserves to die, but me personally. If you break into my home, I'm sleeping. I don't know if you want my TV, if you want my child, if you want my oh, life. Little boy, boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'll little boy, boy. I'll just shoot you in like the... No, well, there's nobody shooting in the leg because you can kill someone like that. Let's do the same thing that pepper, the bird shot, buck shot. Well, that's why... Don't they always say like the like the warning shot? You yeah, have to do like a warning shot up. first. No, but I'm just saying, right? Like you... Especially when you're in... Pa- you're in panic no- mm-hmm. mode. Panic no. Mode. Note. Panic no. <laughs> You're in panic p- mode. Shut the hell up. <laughs> no, you're you're in panic mode. So it's just like you don't know what's gonna happen. You know what this person yeah, wants yeah, to yeah. do to you. Yeah. So you yeah. may not set out to kill them, but you are gonna like you know what I mean. Mm. Mm. Like one of my favorite movies is Enough by J Lo, where yeah. she, um, you know, she's being abused and like she like pl- she plans to kill him, but she f- does it in like a way that is all self defense. Because he he stalked her and her daughter and like. Did she call the cops? many times but like you know like there's ways around that and like i don't know it's a good movie you should see it one day it's actually it's like a badass movie but no like the fact that we can't even carry pepper spray and it's funny because i um did you hear about the kids that were pepper sprayed in montreal like at a school no okay so it was security or cops no it was over 20 kids were accidentally pepper sprayed at a montreal elementary school and four of them were actually hospitalized by it. How did they accidentally get pepper sprayed? <laughs> it's stupid. It's the French, whatever. Not no, surprising. you are you're actually gonna roll your eyes. Mm. So it was like last week or whatever. Sacre bleu. Apparently, they found a canister of pepper spray in the schoolyard. Mm. So I guess they were just picking it up and playing with it. Like that's mm. legit how it happened. Oh. Yeah, it's super dumb. Well, it's the French. What do you expect? For I, I can maybe understand like one kid like what is this because I don't know their ages right so like oh like what is this but like over twenty. It's the French, Joe. Like it's like oh come it's the on, French. kids. Like you're in school. They don't know how to win battles anymore. Common sense. They just man. wave the white flag and say Germans take me. No, well, I don't know about all that. But yeah, I thought that was a little ridiculous. I'm like, hmm, the fact that even pepper spray even got there. I'm like, I wonder how that got there. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, buddy. I don't know, but man. I, am. I don't know. I, I feel like one of the reasons that you love Canada is just because like, you're such like a wilderness man. Yeah, I think we're at the best, most beautiful country in the world. And that's well, we it. have more uh, wildlife species than any other country yeah, in the world. Yeah, that's where we're good Did when, it, when it comes to global warming. We're kind of good, bro. Yeah. Mine is like the south, but like, mine is like, like when it gets all stormy and shit. But like, overall, we're yeah. pretty good, bro. Because, like, as of recently, it's been, like, calculated that we have about three times the wildlife that the yeah, USA that's has. That's why I think that, the, like, the, if we're going to have a world war, it's going to be over natural resources. If we have the mo- we're going to become a natural resource superpower in the next, like, 30 years. Because we have tons of oil here. We have tons of lumber. We have a fuckload of land and a small population. We got a lot of animals. And then, once again, we do... Same thing with Russia. We kind of sadly do somewhat benefit from global warming. Not everybody, but we do from a money standpoint, we do benefit from it. So, I mean, nobody really benefits from it because if we're all going to fucking die off, what does money do anyways? No, no, no. We won't die off. 
we're Canadians. We persevere. We're good at battle. That's one thing. We're the, the one thing I'm really proud of, and I always will shove this in Americans' face. We're the only country to beat Americans in, at war on their own land. The White House is white because we burnt it down. It used to be tan. Did you know that? I did not know the that. War of 1812. So fuck you, America. We beat you. Whoa. I love you still. How do you go from, I like America, I think it's better than Canada, to fuck you, America? I still love them. You're a bipolar ass motherfucker. Welcome to the world. Everyone has mental health problems. Oh my god. Too real. Too deep. Do you think that, like, mental health and stuff was always such a thing? No, not to this extent, no. You think that our environment and the way the world is today has caused more oh, mental course. health issues? Of course. Because, like, obviously mental health and depression, like, that was always a thing. But, like, you never heard. And, and obviously it was more of, like, a don't we're ask, don't more, tell thing back in the active. day. Back in the day, we were way more active than we are now. Most people don't, like, we're, we're I don't know, like, like. I don't know, people just minds were more occupied with doing shit. And once again, people just got out more and moved around more. I were guess. more physical. And I also think because of the internet, oh, yeah. well, we compare media, so. ourselves to other people. So it's like, if we don't have this type of job and this type of house and these type of friends and this yeah. type of body, we feel bad about ourselves. If it wasn't for the this, I probably would have probably deleted my Instagram next. Because deleting my Facebook was probably the best thing ever. I felt great. Mm. I, felt, like, I remember my friend, she told me like she went off the grid. She said she's never been happier when she got off. She went back on, but she barely used it. But when she got off, she said it was fucking amazing. I, if it wasn't for this, I would probably be off. I'd probably be Off just, of Instagram? Yeah, I probably would have just deleted it. Probably like, reactivated it later on, but I put it in an off it. But it's because of this, I still keep it. Because mm. it's, it's just like, uh, yeah, just, nah. I don't see like there's benefit to it. But to me, the, like, the trade-off is just not worth it in the long run. That's interesting. No. Hmm. It's because, yeah, no. It's, we compare ourselves too much. Kids don't... Like, when I see kids playing outside, I get happy. I was like, holy shit, they still do that. Yeah. I get happy seeing that. Oh, my God. My whole childhood was, like, outside riding bikes with yeah, my kids friends don't fucking at do that the anymore. park. Like, if we could be outside, we were. Like, uh. we would see each other at school be like, okay, like, we're rushing home to change and, like, uh. you know. I do that now. Like, grab a snack and then grab your bike and, like, okay, everyone meet up at, like, my house, for instance. And, like, and you know. People just forget. They lose, in t- like, they lose um that connection with their inner child. Yeah. Like, I do that right now. I run home. I'm like, fuck, let me finish work as early as I can. Let me run home and then go ride mountain bike in the forest. Yeah. Like, you know how, like. You know, like, back in the day, how you, like... Because, like, nobody had cell phones back then. Um, like, our age. Like, kids mm-hmm. that young weren't having cell phones. Yeah, my kids are having no fucking cell phone. Um, well, fuck you, kid. <laughs> no, but, like, you know, like, kids weren't having cell phones. Like, it was, like, the house phone. And, like, if your friend wasn't home, like, the way you found everyone was, like, you rode your bike by the house and like whoever where all the bikes were like laid in the in the or driveway MSN. that's how you knew i'm saying when everyone's out oh, yeah, yeah. it's like wherever all the bikes are that's how you know like where your mm. friends are and like it's just i don't know it was nice yeah and the was a thing too. yeah well now it's not we're adults and we're miserable I'm well i'm yeah. it's crazy it's like yo we wanted to grow up so bad you remember it's like oh i can't wait till i'm older i can't wait till i can drink i can't wait till i can can't drive. wait till i can i can suck dick <laughs> what yeah, i don't know eugene what you have to ruin it. Just sucking dick? I know I did. <laughs> I didn't. What? Are you sure? I don't know sometimes. <laughs> okay. Um. I was talking about having a great childhood and you had to talk about sucking dick. <sighs> the more things change, the more things stay the same, hey? Hey. Okay, let's end this. What? This is longer than normally you want to go. No. I feel like we started off around like the 45 minute mark, but as of lately, I feel like all of our podcasts have been around an hour. Uh, what? Why? What? I don't know. I'm used to being done by now, but since you want to keep going, let's keep going then, man. I don't know. No, I want to do like two hour podcasts and shit. Yeah, nobody wants to hear you for two hours. Everyone usually. wants to fucking hear me nobody for two hours. Nobody wants to hear you for two hours. I want to hear this smooth ass voice ew you just i'm wearing headphones like you just like all up in my ear don't touch me touch your nose you did it when my eyes were closed okay so open your eyes fucking i was blinking well don't blink then you're around me keep your eyes open (laughs) what and also i said don't touch me like i touched my stop touching my (laughs) nose it's part of me (laughs) 
everyone, you're hearing that he <laughs> has hit me. I didn't hit you. I tapped he you. He punched me I in the collarbone in earlier. The coll- if I punched you in the collarbone, you wouldn't be talking right now. He's touching me unwantedly. I have you touch me is, unwantedly all the time. This is documented. You know how many times this is you documented. T- don't touch me, woman. <laughs> I have a. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like live abuse. You just one push day, me. One day we're gonna break out into a fight. I feel like no, no, no. I wouldn't want to. It'd pretty much be me just being like you're laughing. afraid to catch these hands. No, I'm afraid to. <laughs> it would be me <laughs> laughing <laughs> and you attacking. <laughs> yeah. And, don't worry. I'm gonna be like Creed in the gym, like practicing give me a couple months and i will you, knock you, your fucking lights out bro three years i will i will what if i train at the same time and you but what if i train at the same time it's okay guess what it's mind over matter sometimes and i feel like mentally stretch your fucking leg mentally it's this one it's well, this hamstring you stretched it up. don't worry about my hamstring i said you don't want to i know your weakness hands. your knees no yes I'm sorry. I used your to your knees track. and your I lower have, back. I have I'm fucking bad for knees. Those. I think I'm dirty. If I know your weakness, I'm going for it. When my knee, well, like I first of all, that's you shouldn't be proud to be a dirty fighter. No, it's just, I'm self preservation. I'm not going to unnecessarily do moves. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to end it quickly. Normally, my whole like lower body is like very strong, especially in comparison to my upper body. It's only re- as of recently because like I fucked up my my hamstring, so it's like that sucks so that's like my knees stop touching Rehab, me buddy. don't hold hand, touch me your clammy ass hands. why are your hands like gray i don't know ew your hands are, what is that it's my blood it's per. it's like greenish purple your hand is like yeah, is hey. it from the denim on your pants you think oh probably it's yeah. like a bluish gray yeah, the denim rubbed off looks like it's a big old bruise your hands look like you look like you've been dead for about 10 days i have inside <laughs> Like, you look like you're slowly decaying. Yeah, I am, Joe. My oh. soul decays every time I wake up. Aww. <laughs> it doesn't. That's not nice. No. no. How you How you doing? How are you, Eugene? Oh, it took 56 minutes. Um, I'm fine, for the most part. How's life going? Eh. Eh. Better, for the most part. That's good. I'll say good. Not that doo-doo. You know, I think it's really important that, like, nothing's ever going to be, like, 100%. I mean, if it is good for you, like, I don't know who you are in the world, but if things are 100% great for you, then that's amazing. But I think it's always good to, like, oh, appreciate the, the little things that are... The mountain biking's been good. I get semester progressing. I need friends to mountain bike with really badly because all my friends aren't athletic. Or mm. uh, athletic enough, so... Mm. And no one's gonna mountain bike with me, so I need friends to mountain bike. I really want people. I don't know. I don't really want it. It's just one like yesterday, just like following that guy down the hill, and because he was obviously, I knew he was better than me once by looking at him. I was like, you need to explain it. I don't know what you're talking about. What following what guy? There's a guy. Well, I went mountain biking yesterday to my spot. And there's a spot where you can just go up and like down the hill and then walk back up, down the hill, walk back up. So while I was going up, I saw a dude, two dudes, and their dog. They're, I, I love seeing people that have their dogs following them and stuff. Mm. Which my, I, I can get my dog to do that eventually. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I saw the dude like, hey, what's up? Hey, whatever. So I was going to do my loop, whatever. And I finally saw him going down. So I was like, oh, fuck, I got to catch him. So start following him. And then, one, I noticed he was fa- Well, I knew he'd be faster because of his bike. Like, he has a dual suspension bike, which he, he has more. That means there's just spent forks in the front little spring in the back everyone's seen those bikes before everyone most people most people start off with mountain bikes or whatever when they're kids but whatever mm-hmm. i knew you'd be faster because i could just my gut told me okay he's more experienced experienced and two his bike has more grip mine's a hard tail so it has no spring in the middle and then i mean on the middle in the back so i don't have as much grip because the it's a solid thing so it bounces around more ah! but like no i saw him going so i was like okay, i have to catch up with him and then the cool thing is that I saw how I saw him took a corner. It was completely different how I would do it because he jumped into the corner, which saves tons of time. And I was like, "What the fuck? There's a jump there. I never saw it because it was because if you see it, you wouldn't notice it if you're not looking for it. It's one of those things, mm-hmm. like because it was just a bunch of dead leaves and then a log that kind of like makes it lift off. So I saw him go that way, and I was like, "What the fuck?" So I followed it, and I was like, "I didn't realize I would get as much air as I did." Oh my God. So I got a bunch of air. I was like, oh, shit. And then landed. I was like, wow. Because then I noticed I was careful. doing it. Yeah, I know. It's fine. I'll crash and get back up. Yeah, until you break your arm and leg. It might happen. Who knows? Yeah, but then you can't work. Okay. That'd be pretty good for me. I'd be happy about drive. that. Yeah? Tell it to your bank account. I'll save my money. Okay, good for you. 
I'll save my money. Good for you, honey. I'll save my money. I don't know. Essentially, you just I, got super crazy. No, I just realized <laughs> that if it'd be great, I need. I want to find a partner to ride with that's a bit better than me because I noticed with him, I noticed like. Yeah. So why don't you walk up to him and be like, "Hey, you wanna you wanna be friends? You wanna be my my bike buddy?" Mm-hmm. No. No. Well, I mean, if you don't right now, you don't know anybody. No, I'm gonna is, join the club. I'm gonna join the areas club. Oh, there's a club in that area. Yeah, the Durham Mountain Biking Club. Mm, so I'm gonna join that. Interesting. I'm gonna join that. Meet some crackers and ride with them. Eugene. What? The hell is wrong with you? What? Did I say something rude? Yes. Uh, oh God. I fucking can't with you. Listen. I would say it if it was Asians too. I would say if it was black people too. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I can't with you. Alright. Okay. I retract my cracker comment. With, Eugene, with the, just stop, please. Whites. No, whatever. We're done. Oh this is God. over. This oh, episode Jesus. is over. I said the word Thank you guys you so much offended. for listening. I'm not offended because it's, it's not directed to me towards me personally, but I just think you're just it's just a lot. It's just a lot. All I right. had a long week and I don't need to deal with this. Sorry, white people. I love you. You're my favorite race. What? What? You're just saying things that make no sense to me. Okay. Well, welcome to this square room. Goodbye. I love you. Okay. Follow us on the website. Anyways, as I was trying to say, you don't follow the website, you dumb fuck. Yeah, RSS feed. That's essentially following the website. Mm, I guess. But that's the feed for the episodes, whereas the website has multiple <laughs> links to everything, such as news and a blog and, you know, all that good stuff. What? What is that face? Go ahead. Do it. Hurry up. What? Go ahead. Do what? The little outro. Uh, follow us on Instagram and on Twitter at this square room. You can follow Joe Nell on Instagram and Twitter. J O N E L W I S O N. And that's not how you spell my I name. I spelled your name wrong. You said yeah. You always. <laughs> this is why I said just let me do it. I do you. Oh my god. He was trying to spell Wilson, which definitely oh, has an I L. Spell. You said oh, W-I-S-O-N. Oh, sorry. So my name is Jonelle Wilson. It's J-O-N-E-L-W-I-L-S-O-N. And that is the handle for all of my social media. So that's Twitter. That is Instagram. That's even YouTube, but I don't really have a YouTube right now. So Anyways. <laughs> um, and Eugene also, he only has Instagram, as you heard him say earlier. His is just Eugene B. That's H-U-G-H-G-E-N-E and the letter B. And of course, please, please, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, follow the podcast, uh, This Square Room. Um, and what else? Is that all we have? We have the website. We have our social media. Um, yeah, just share the podcast. Subscribe on your favorite platform. You know, follow us on iTunes if that's how you listen. Um, subscribe on YouTube if that's how you listen. Spotify, add it to your podcast playlist. You know, all that good stuff. Wherever, wherever you listen to us. We appreciate it. Just give us a follow and tell a friend to tell a friend. All right. Bye, guys. See you next Tuesday. Bye.